Hola amigos! Today we're going to learn how to use your own pictures in Google Presentations so that you can make a comic strip starring you as the main character. So here we go! The first thing you want to do is open up a new Google Presentation. And we're going to go to Layout and we're going to choose Blank. We don't want anything on the screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Insert Image Camera. And I'm going to allow my camera and now you see me in the middle of the screen here. And so I'm just going to take my first picture. And my first sentence is, um, estoy feliz. So I'm going to smile, click on this yellow button here, and I found my picture. And I'll click insert. Now to resize my image, I just drag the corners here. I can make it smaller. I can make it bigger. But remember in the directions, it said that everything should fit on one slide. And your goal is to fit 10 images on one slide. All right, so I've added in seven of the 10 pictures that you need for this project. And now I have to add in my captions or speech bubbles to make it look like a comic strip. So if I want to add in a speech bubble, I'm going to click on the shape right here. And I'll go to callouts. And I have all these different speech bubbles that I could add in. Just drag my mouse to make it as big as I want here. And if I click on this yellow dot at the bottom, I can drag the speech bubble wherever I want. And then any of these blue buttons here, if I click on them, I can resize for whatever I want. Then I double click inside the box and I type in my sentence. If I want to change the color to the fonts of any of these, I can just highlight everything and go to the font and make it a cool font. I can change the size of my font if I want. Over here, I can change the color. And let's say I don't want this to be a gray bubble. I click on the bubble and I click on this fill button here. I can change this to another color. There I go, I have my bubble and I can resize it however I want. Well, let's say on this one, I don't want a bubble, but I want a text box. So I'm gonna click on the text box right here, click on my image and type in my sentence. And I'm gonna, again, play with the colors. I'm gonna resize my text box, but this still like doesn't look that great to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this text box with a color. So I'm gonna go to the fill and highlight that blue. And now I kind of want this font to look a little bit nicer. So I'm gonna highlight all of it. I'm gonna make it bold. I'm gonna move it to the center. And maybe I want this text box to have like a cool outline. So if I click on this pencil right here, I'm gonna make it have a yellow outline. And I'm gonna make it have a really thick yellow outline. So I changed it from one to four. So these are some fun things I can do to make my comic strip. Remember that the most important part is that you show off what you know about Spanish, but I also want you to have fun with this. So go ahead and play with the colors, play with the design. Remember that you need to have other people in your comic strip so that you can show nosotros and ellos. Um, that's why I have the picture of the bear here. I'm gonna resize this down. There you go, and I have the start of my comic strip. I can also, if I want, I can change the background if I do have white space, although I don't think you will have white space when you use all 10 photos. But if I did want to change the background of this slide, I would just click somewhere in the white space, press background, and I could choose a color. There we go. Maybe I want to outline all of my pictures. So if I click on the first one and I hold down shift, I can click on all the rest. And then I'm going to go to my outline and let's make it a little bit bigger. And just look how much more professional and pretty it looks now. So I hope that helps you with your project and gives you some tech tools as well. And I can't wait to see how these projects turn out. Have so much fun. To purchase the Spanish lesson plan that goes with this activity, please click on the description.